like to introduce our student speaker. So Kimberly Din is graduating with a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. As an athlete on the UW-Madison women's varsity golf team, she's enjoyed both team and individual success. In addition to the demands of being a student athlete, Kim has been an undergraduate researcher for four years, played active roles in student organizations, and maintained outstanding academic performance. She's a Chancellor Scholar and a College of Engineering Lead Scholar. After graduation, Kim is heading to MIT to pursue a PhD in chemical engineering. So Kim, thank you. All right, thanks Jake. I want to tell you a little more about myself. I'm originally from Midland, Michigan, and if you've heard of Midland, it's probably because you know where it's where Dow Chemical is headquartered. My parents are both chemical engineers and both work for Dow Corning. To no one's surprise, when I was figuring out what I wanted to study, I chose chemical engineering. Growing up in Midland, and in high school, I was the one involved in everything. I golfed, I played clarinet in the band, I volunteered with Key Club, and was on the student council. I was also comfortable, very comfortable, since I had grown up with some of the same friends for years. So, when it came time to choose a college, nearly all of my friends were going to either the University of Michigan or Michigan State University. And it was at that point, I realized I wanted something different. I wanted to try something new and uncomfortable. And when I visited UW-Madison in the spring of my senior year, I fell in love. I loved the campus, I loved Lake Mendota, and of course, how can you not love the terrace? So, I came here, not without any fear, mind you, but also with a lot of excitement. When I first arrived in Madison, I didn't know a single soul, and I struggled at first to make new friends. I still am shy, but it wasn't just the shyness that I was dealing with. I actually thought I was failing Chem 109. As you can probably imagine, or experience yourself, it was demoralizing, especially after being at the top of my class throughout high school. In short, for my first two months in Madison, I was miserable and seriously considered transferring. But it turns out that everyone in our section thought we were failing. I didn't figure this out. I really didn't figure this out until I started talking more to my classmates who soon became some of my best friends. The shared misery we experienced was an incredible unifier. Because I started to reach out and make connections with those around me, I found confidence and the support I needed to make it through these past five years. Given everything I have learned, the biggest lesson was I won't be successful on my own. The keys were a good support system, a common goal, and sometimes a common challenge. I know that my challenges may seem relatively unimportant to some of you. We have all fought our own battles to make it to this day. No matter how we did it, we made it. But there is one important fact that we must not forget. The challenges we all may have faced pale in comparison to the sacrifices 
and struggles of those who carried us to this place. As I look out at the parents, grandparents, family, and friends here with us today, I am humbled. I know I wouldn't be at this point without the help of at least two people in this room. Both of my parents immigrated to the US at the end of the Vietnam War with their families as refugees. Both were in high school and both had limited knowledge of the English language. The classic American immigrant story is one of a melting pot or of a rags to riches story. But that story does not happen without courage, sacrifice, and a will to succeed. It takes an ability to reinvent yourself, to learn a new language, and the patience to accept being an outsider for a while. It takes old fashioned sweat, long hours, and lost sleep. But those sacrifices, though, put me in this position to succeed. As we are about to start a new chapter of our lives, we should honor those who have provided us some great opportunities. These people carried us here, and now it's our turn. We will walk out of here with a hard-earned degree from the University of Wisconsin, but we will also carry the weight of our obligations as sons and as daughters and as engineers. The pressures we face may be enormous, but we are ready. Thank you.